today's video, I'll be doing a swipe using some of my swipe tools. I've got some Paraj Posse paints that I'll be using. I'm also going to be throwing in some Vallejo Pearl Medium in the mix. So if you like what you see, stick around and check it out. I hope you're having a great day. I want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day. So today I'm working on a 10 by 20 canvas and I've got a couple of uh, Parage Posse paints that I'll be using from Christina Welch. This first one here is Chestnut Bronze. The next one is Antique Copper and they're both metallics. The next two I'm using a couple blues, Liquitex um, Prussian Blue and then I'm going to add a little Interference Blue. I've got some Vallejo Pearl Medium and Artist Loft Flow Acrylic that's my base. The way that I mix that is up to that first line is the Artist Loft. The next little bit is the Vallejo Pearl Medium. The next little line is GAC 800 and then up to the top is Floetrol and then four capfuls of water. I didn't, I kind of winged it, I didn't have exact measurements but so we're gonna go with that and then I had to make sure that my canvas is level. Little tip to keep your levelers, if you have purchased any of my canvas levelers, um, use some Glad uh, cling wrap, the sticky stuff. You cover those and it keeps them really clean. You can pull it right off, throw it away. All right, so I'm really loving these um, Parage Posse paints. They're super, super easy to mix with your pouring medium, nice and creamy. I use my regular pouring medium for those, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. Um, and I just mixed those super, super easy. And I was hoping that you can see what's happening here, um, that the base coat would help to get those lacing and cells developing. You can see it looks really, really cool. I did swipe through the middle with Payne's Gray from Amsterdam, um, and that is mixed one part, um, one teaspoon, excuse me, of the Amsterdam Payne's Gray with three tablespoons of Floetrol. And you can see that it is really creating a lot of cells and lacing there. Super, super pretty. It's so easy uh, using the swipe tools as well. They're super flexible. As long as you put a little bit of pressure, you can really uh, create some nice swipes with it. And I decided to add a little movement to this. I wanted to kind of spread out that paint a little bit. Um, the blue was a little bit hidden there. You can see it's opening those colors up in the middle. And I'm really, really loving how this is looking. And of course, I'm just using my torch just to pop any air bubbles if there's any. I like to let my paints sit um, so the air bubbles come out. All right, guys, here's the wet photos. You can see how pretty that looks. I love the detail that I got in this. Um, loving, loving all the cells and the colors are super, super pretty. So I have got my fingers crossed that this one dries exactly like it looks wet. So if you stick around, hopefully oh, we will see, fingers crossed, we'll see the dried results. Oh, and don't forget, if you're interested in any of my acrylic pouring tools, go visit my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. All right, everybody, here we go with the dried photos, and I am super, super happy with how this dried. These colors are so warm and rich. I love all the detail that I got. Um, I really do think that the Vallejo Pro Medium and the GAC 800 mixed with the Floetrol kind of helped create those cells and lacing that I got. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like my video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell also so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I have a bunch more videos I know you'll enjoy and I'll catch you in the next one.